Good morning and welcome to another day of devotions at Bethel Baptist Church. And today, if you take your Bible, we're going to be in the book of Hebrews in chapter 11. And uh, Hebrews chapter 11, this is the passage, uh, the hall of faith, the passage uh, all about those who were faithful and, and trusted God uh, and served Him willingly because they believed in uh, God who is able uh, so today, Hebrews 11 and verse 7, it says, By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, Obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as a, in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself conceived strength to conceive seed. And was delivered of a child when she was past aged, because she judged him faithful who had promised. And before we begin today, let's uh, stop and take a moment to pray. Lord, I thank you for uh, this opportunity to uh, just preach your word and, and uh, share this uh, that you've put on upon my heart. Lord, I pray you to speak to those who are listening. I uh, pray you to encourage them to uh, just rely on you more uh, and that you would use that. Uh, to increase their willingness uh, to serve. Lord, thank you for this and this time, and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our uh, faith, or our reliance is another good word to, to use as a synonym for faith. Uh, our reliance upon God it determines our willingness to serve Him. So are we unwilling to serve God in certain areas because we are not relying on fully upon God. And these three uh, people, just there's many more in this passage, but just for today, these three, Noah, Abraham, and Sarah, will look at their lives and see how the, they greatly relied upon God, and so they were willing to do great things for God. And so first we see Noah in verse 7. He was willing to serve God despite the cost uh, Noah, he invested the, the time, the resources, the, the money, the, the labor involved into building the ark. Uh, it took him about 120 years uh, to build it, and he had his family to build it with him. But I don't know, some say that uh, he hired some people to help him build it. Some uh, would say that uh, he couldn't find anyone to build it because he was a little crazy where he was building, and no one really wanted to be involved with Noah. But... Regardless of it, it took him 120 years to build this, and God provided the, the resources. He, God provided the time, the energy, uh, the labor to be able to accomplish the, the building of this ark. Uh, he had 120 years to build the ark, and uh, he lived another 350 years after uh, the flood and lived in a total of 950 years. And so God can provide the time. Uh, you say, I, I don't really have any time to serve God, and, but really God can provide the time if you, uh, if you would be willing, if you would trust Him. And then we, we think about just how large the ark was. It was uh, about nine sixteenths the length of the Titanic and just over half the size, uh, the length of the Titanic, a wooden boat that uh, just a massive undertaking uh, and God provided uh, the resources for Noah to be able to build that. And so, next we see Abraham. Uh, he was willing to serve God despite the unknown. Uh, he says here, even in this passage, it says that he not, it says not knowing whither he went. 
God told him to come out of his country and to go to a land that he would show him. And Abraham went, but he didn't know where he was going. He was like, all right, I'm going to leave, but I don't know where I'm going. And uh, Abraham trusted God and gave the uh, trusted God with the unknown in his life. And uh, a lot of people will say, well, I'll serve God once I know what to do. But if God is giving you a little bit of light, and this is your next step. The Bible says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And that it just lights up enough to see the next step to take. And so God wants us to be uh, willing to serve him despite the unknown. Uh, once he started moving, God would direct him. Uh, it's, I've heard it said it's a lot easier to steer a moving car than a stop car. Uh, and then later on in this passage, we didn't read it, but we also see that Abraham, he offered up uh, his son Isaac, and he didn't know how God would raise up Isaac from the dead. Uh, he knew that he was supposed to sacrifice him, that Isaac should be dead, and but he knew that the promise uh, of God, the blessing that God had give, given to Abraham, that he would have a great nation come from his, his seed, and he knew that this would be true, and he wasn't sure how God would accomplish it, but he believed that he would do it. Uh, he believed that God would do uh, what he could not do, and that's the impossible. And so that leads us to Sarah, which is a very similar uh, just connotation or, or note there, uh, that God can do what we cannot do. And Sarah uh, was willing to serve God despite her inability uh, she was well past the age of childbearing. She was at her, close to a, almost 100 years old. I'm forgetting right now how exactly old she was, but she was up uh, in, in ages. And so she was well past the time that people would normally, uh, women would normally bear children. And, and so she, she knew that she, God had said, you're going to have a son, you're going to have a seed uh, that, uh, there's going to be a great nation that comes from you and uh, from Abraham. And she was like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to happen, but it, it says here uh, that she judged him faithful who had promised. God had promised and so she believed that he would be faithful to accomplish what she could not do. And our, our willingness uh, to serve and our actual service is dependent upon our reliance upon God, our belief in God that we know that God will do it. I know God can do it. Uh, it's not dependent upon ourselves. It's not dependent on our strength. Uh, do we believe that God can even when we can't? When I was uh, doing a summer Jewish ministries, the director of the program mailed me a book. Uh, it was a big encouragement to me. Uh, and I read through it and it was just encouragement as a, as a leader of the group and trying to do all the work there in the ministry and just so much. Uh, the book, uh, the theme of the book was based around uh, this verse in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. It says, uh, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. For, for sake of time, I won't get into it much, but God wants us uh, to rely not on our power, not on our strength, not on our might, but by, but by His Spirit, uh, by doing the work of the ministry and serving Him by His Spirit, uh, relying on, on His Spirit, uh, being filled with His Spirit. And then we see Paul gives the same kind of uh, notion here, uh, ideas he writes in 2 Corinthians Chapter 12 and verse 9, he says, and he said unto me, this, this for context, this is uh, where he had this uh, thing that he besought the Lord thrice to remove from him. It was a thorn in his flesh and he wanted it uh, removed. But then God said, he said, and said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. God wants us uh, not to be the strongest we can be, but to be the weakest, because that's when His strength can be revealed, and that's when His strength can be made uh, 
just perfect. It says made perfect in weakness. And so when we're trying to serve God and we don't, we're not willing to because we don't believe uh, that God can, that God, uh, we don't believe that God can, we don't believe that we can because uh, we don't have the strength. We need to rely on God uh, and believe that He can do it. And then lastly, uh, in 1 Thessalonians, Paul also wrote, he said uh, in chapter 5, verse 24, uh, he says, Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Uh, when God calls us to do something, uh, He will equip us, He will enable us uh, to accomplish the things that uh, He wants us to do. Uh, he's going to provide us uh, the wisdom for it and the strength and the ability uh, if we just rely upon Him. And so our uh, reliance upon God it determines our willingness uh, to serve Him. If we want to be willing to serve God, we need to rely uh, upon Him. And so thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care.